Glory be to God Church. Here we go. Welcome back to the Television Network Social Media Ministry. I am Pastor Dan Isaac and we are live on Facebook. Thank you Jesus. Thank you for the 20 stars. Sister Sampada, be blessed in Jesus name. Thank you Jesus. How is everybody feeling today? We are doing our study of salvation essentials salvation essentials today all right thank you jesus thomas thank you for the tom thank you for the 1000 stars be blessed in jesus name be blessed in jesus name thank you brother all right do we have the do we have the godsay family is the Godse family available online today? Preeti, Priscilla, Prema. Do we have the Godse family on today? Welcome Mimi, welcome Marina, Mariam, Thomas. Welcome in Jesus name. I'm waiting for the good safe family from Church of the Living Waters. And I'm going to ask one of the members of the good safe family to please have the phone on and full volume for Ojwala good safe. Because we're going to pray for her. I just saw Priscilla and Preeti signing in. Just need to know that you have your phone on full volume with your mom so that I can pray, so that we can all pray in Jesus' name. All right, while I do the opening prayer, I'm going to wait for you all to sign in. Godse family and let me know and then we'll pray specifically for Ojwala Godse. Okay, Father in heaven, we give you thanks, honor and praise. Thank you, Lord, for this beautiful time. Thank you for this time of fellowship. Thank you for your church, this beautiful family of saints, my brothers and sisters from across the world. Thank you, Lord, for your anointing. Thank you for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And thank you for technology. Thank you for Facebook. Thank you for all the believers that are sending in stars. And we ask you for your power, your anointing to be spoken to your people so that they can receive your word and they can be blessed so that they can receive your power and they can be empowered in their lives. We give you thanks, honor, and praise and we ask this prayer in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, your vessel is ready and your children are ready. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, one more time. Um, if you want, we can do this a little later, later in the in the live stream. So I'll still I'll still wait for you to give me a confirmation. Preeti. Priscilla, when your mom is ready for me to pray for her. Okay, so let me know if she is available during this live stream for me to pray for her. Okay, church, come on, let's continue. Because I, I have not seen any comments from, from the Godse family, so I'm guessing they're either ready or for some reason I'm not seeing it. If somebody else sees it, please let me know. All right, we're doing the teaching series on salvation essentials, right? Everybody's still with me? We have done one, two, three, four, and, oh, five and six. We did six as well, right? Yeah. 
we've completed six. So we've done six of the salvation essentials. And today we're starting with number seven. Um, I don't know if this is just Facebook or what, but I'm just seeing um, so-and-so is watching, so-and-so is watching. I'm not seeing any comments. So I don't know if there's something up with Facebook or if I'm not seeing it. So I don't know. It says swipe left. Okay. I just saw another 200 stars. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, okay, now I'm seeing messages. Before this, I wasn't seeing it. Yep, I wasn't able to see any comments before. Now I saw uh, Stuti posted something and then my wife posted something and then Preeti posted something. Okay, now I'm seeing comments. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's up with Facebook. Sorry, I just couldn't see that. Okay. All right, church. Okay, good. Okay, now I can see. Yeah, now I can see. All right, I just saw 99 stars from Sonal. Okay, now I can see comments. Okay, I, I have no clue what it was. I wasn't able to see the comments before this. Okay, church. Now, everybody, listen. Where two or three are gathered together in the name of Jesus. Jesus is there in our midst. This fellowship is governed by Jesus because we're all gathering together for Jesus. Okay? So, today, we are doing a special prayer. A special prayer for Sister Ujwala Godse. Alrighty? We're, we're all going to agree. All of us. All our church. Everybody from across the world. There is power in prayer. There's power in agreement prayer. And there's power in the name of Jesus. Okay? So we are right now, all of us, thank you, Thomas, for posting um, that verse, Matthew 18, 20. And thank you, Alan, for posting the correct spelling of Sister Ujwala Godse so all of our believers can see and they, they know how to pronounce it as well. Okay? Everybody, all the friends and the followers of the television network social media ministry from across the world, we are praying especially for our dear sister from India, from the Church of the Living Waters. Her name is Ujwala Godse. And we're going to pray right now. And when we pray at this moment, it has nothing to do with me. It has nothing to do with you. It has nothing to do with my power or your power. It has everything to do with the power of the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, so let us all agree right now. Let us all agree together. And we're going to ask for complete healing upon Sister Ujwala Godse. She recently had surgery and there's a wound that is not completely healed. It's not getting healed. So we're going to ask God to intervene in this situation. The doctors have done what they could and she's a lot better. But now we're going to ask God to intervene and to complete that surgery. Okay. Thank you. Kingo for the 500 stars. Okay. Church, are you ready? Everybody get ready. Come on. All of the believers, we're going to agree. Okay. Agree with my prayer. Everybody post in the comment section and agree in my prayer. All the believers from across the world. Let's do this. Father in heaven, we come to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, right now, all of the believers from across the world, we all agree. Do we agree, church? We all agree. We believe in the power of an agreement prayer. And at this moment, Lord, we use the power of your Holy Spirit. And Lord, we ask you for a mighty miracle. At this moment, we all agree as one body, as one church, as one family. We agree in the mighty name of Jesus. And we ask you, we pray in your name, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we ask you for complete healing. 
in the body of Sister Ujwala Godse right now in Jesus' name. We ask you for complete and wholesome healing, 100% healing, this very moment, in the mighty name of Jesus. As a church, we all agree, and we go to war against every evil power that is causing her not to receive complete healing in her body. We go to war in Jesus' name. We take the sword of the word of God and we attack every demonic power, every evil spirit, every disturbing and unclean spirit. We go to war taking the sword of the word of God against those evil powers in Jesus' name. We cast those evil powers to leave, to leave her, to leave Ujwala Godse right now in Jesus' mighty name. And we agree and receive 100%, 100% healing upon the body of sister Ujwala Godse right now. In Jesus' mighty name, and all God's people said, Amen and Amen. Sister Ojwala, receive your healing in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. All right, church. Thank you, Lord. Everybody with me? Church, everybody with me? Okay. Everybody back to Bible study. Okay, ready? I'm reading from Matthew chapter 25 and from verse 31. Matthew chapter 25 and I'm reading from verse 31. Are you all with me? Everybody with me, church? Matthew chapter 25 and from verse 31. Here we go. When the Son of Man comes in His glory. Tom, I think you're going to love this teaching today. Listen carefully, church. Everybody listen carefully. Matthew chapter 25 and verse 31. When the Son of Man comes in His glory, and all the holy angels with him. Tom, you know when the chief priests and the Roman soldiers came to arrest Jesus in the garden. And Peter tried to intervene and fight. And attacked one of the soldiers. One of those who had come to arrest him. And cut the ear off of that servant. Jesus heals that person's ear, puts the ear back, heals the ear. And looks at the disciples and says, don't do this. Don't you know that I can ask for 72,000 angels to come right now if I ask them to come at this moment? 72,000 angels. It says, you don't have to do this. I, I don't need you. I don't need your power. I don't need your strength. If I want, I, I can just ask 72,000 angels. In the Old Testament, the Bible talks about the destructive power of one angel. It's terrible. What one angel can do. Here, Matthew chapter 25 and verse 31 says, When the Son of Man comes in his glory and all the holy angels with him. Imagine the show of power. That's why I gave you a backstory of that. 
When the Son of Man comes in His glory and all the holy angels with Him. It's a show of power. It's a show of power. Then He will sit on the throne of His glory. All the nations will be gathered before Him. And he will separate them one from another. I want to quickly remind you of John chapter 5 verse 22 and verse 23. Listen, this is all perspective coming together. I want to remind you because everybody's saying when you're reading Matthew 25, 31, what happened to the father and his throne? Let me show you something real quick. It all pieces together. John chapter 5, verse 22 and verse 23. Moreover, the Father judges no one, but has entrusted all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. He's already given you a heads up that judgment will be done by the Son. So when the Son of Man comes in His glory and His holy angels are with Him, then He will sit on the throne of His glory. Thank you, Anton, for the 50 stars. All the nations will be gathered before Him and He will separate them one from another. As a shepherd divides his sheep, from the goats. And he will set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you blessed of my father. Are you with me, church? Is everybody with me? Jesus is sitting on his throne and judging the nations. And he's already told us about the authority that the Father has given him to judge the nations and everyone. And he said, look, my Father's not going to judge you. Because you're always saying, right, you're saying that my father is an angry God of the Old Testament. So my father says, listen, you do the judgment. Listen to, listen to the sense of this, church. We're always judging the father, right? We're always judging the father by his actions from the Old Testament. Right, church? Thank you, King O, for the 30 stars. We're always judging the father. So the father has entrusted judgments to the son. Now he says, son, you do it. Come on, church. Are you, I, I need you to get into this mindset to understand what is going on, church. So the son, the one who transmitted the love of the Father, even though we don't believe in the love of the Father. We always judge the Father for His actions from the Old Testament. But the Son who transmitted the love, the Son who showed us the love, the Son who died for us on the cross, the Son who said, Father, forgive them. The Son who said, <coughs> The son who said, this is my destiny. Listen to my heart. This son is going to be our judge. Thank you, Thomas, for the 200 stars. Are you with me, church? We're always going like, you see, Jesus, 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 Jesus is a loving Jesus. The father is he's an angry father. Jesus is a loving Jesus. This loving Jesus will judge us. He is going to be our judge. 
so that you have nothing to say anymore. Because if the father had to judge us on the day of judgment, we'd be looking at the son. Do you forgive us? So he's going to be there. But he says something special. And listen, I, I want you to listen to this. The son will say, the king will say to those on his right, come, you blessed of my father. This is happening on the throne at the throne of judgment. This is happening at the throne of judgment. And what is Jesus saying? Jesus, the son, the son who comes in glory with his angels, a show of power. This son is saying, come you blessed of my father. Blessed of my father. Who's saying it? The son. Pastor, what are you getting at? I'm getting at the separation of the two. Jesus is saying, you blessed of my father. Where's he saying this? While he's on the earth? No, he's saying this on judgment day. He's saying this at judgment day. Are you listening church? The beauty of the triune God is that they each are independent of each other. They are independent of each other. They are distinct persons. But these three independent, distinct persons are so strong in their agreement that they're one God. They share the same nature. They share the same title. They share the same name, God. But it's important to identify them as distinct and independent. Jesus is speaking here and saying, come you blessed of my father. And he says, inherit the kingdom that is prepared for you from the foundation of the world. Now, I want you to pause for a second, church. Are you all with me? I want everybody to pause for a second and listen to my heart. Are you with me, church? I want you to pause for a second and I want you to listen to my heart. As usual, there are a lot of people who are criticizing things that I'm saying. And it's fine. And so I highlighted something about the Jesus only modalist Christians. And I put out that one video and I also put out a post saying I'm devastated by the amount of Christians that have fallen victim to the Jesus only modalist movement. The heresy of oneness Pentecostalism. And so people agreed and disagreed and all that was fine. And I read through all these comments. I read through everything. 
And when I'm reading the comments, I read with the lens of the Holy Spirit. That's how I read. And what I read, if I sense something that disturbs me, then I cry out to God. Here's what disturbed me in the comments when I made this post. And I said that I am appalled, devastated, shocked by the amount of Christians who have fallen victim to the oneness Pentecostal movement and the Jesus only modalist movement. I was even more shocked when I saw comments in there of people saying, stop getting so upset and stop getting so bothered. What we need to focus on is Jesus and that's all we need. As long as we have Jesus, there's nothing to bother about. Again, I'm not able to see any comments. Okay, just letting you know. I can't see comments. All I'm seeing is so-and-so is watching. I'm not seeing any comments. Just letting you know. So I have no clue what is going on. But I cannot see any comments right now. <laughs> Masood Wahab. Here's a smile for you, man. Okay, I saw it now. I don't know. I have to kind of swipe it back. Are you with me, church? The amount of people that are saying, listen, all we need is Jesus. We need Jesus. That's all. And if we have Jesus, there's nothing. It's okay. It's okay to just believe in Jesus. What they're saying is, it's okay to be a Jesus-only modalist. And so I asked God, Lord, you show me. You show me, Lord. Will the Jesus only modalists go to heaven? I asked him. Because listen, listen to me. I want everybody to listen carefully for a moment. Listen to the fine, the fine line of this theology. Listen carefully. Is everybody with me? Listen super carefully. Right. Now, so now I, I can see comments now. Sometimes I'm not. Sometimes I can, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to teach. Okay. So everybody bear with me. If I don't see your comments, I apologize. But listen. Here's what the modalists are saying. They're saying, remember I, I explained yesterday. They're saying he is father when he's in heaven. He was son when he was on the earth. And he's Holy Spirit in this generation now. So it's one God person changing forms. You see the difference? That's what they believe. It's not that they don't believe in the father. They believe in the father, but they say Jesus is the father. That's what the modalist Christians believe. That's what the only Jesus, oneness Pentecostals believe. They believe Jesus is the Holy Spirit. They believe the Holy Spirit is the Father. That's what they believe. But we're teaching that salvation essentials is having a clear understanding of the triune God. So if what they are saying is true, listen carefully. If what they are saying is true, then when Jesus is on his throne, why will he refer to the father? If he is the father, you get my logic in what I'm saying? I asked God and the Lord said, here you go. Here's some scripture for you. If Jesus is the father, then when he's on his throne, get the logic of what I'm saying, church. When Jesus is on his throne in Matthew chapter 25, verse 31, he will say, come to me. And all those on my right will go here, on my left, will go here. Let's have fun. That's what he'll say. But what does the son say? 
The son says, come, you blessed of my father. Again, there's the father and the son, two separate in heaven. And Jesus identifies the two. Are you with me, church? In John chapter 5 and verse 24. In John chapter 5 and verse 24. Watch this carefully, church. Listen carefully. Most assuredly, most assuredly. Thomas, you've said he refers to his father constantly. Do a Google search. Do a Google search and type how many times does Jesus say my father in the Bible? Or how many times does Jesus say my father in the New Testament? Do a Google search. You know, you know what number? Type the number that comes up because I did it. Somebody go and do it real quick. Do a Google search. How many times does Jesus say my father in the Bible? Or how many times does Jesus say my father in the New Testament? Do a Google search and post it there. Tell me how many times. Do you see it? It should say 165 plus. 165, yeah, that's right. 165 times, more than 165 times, Jesus refers to his father. John chapter 5, verse 24. Watch this, watch this church. This will blow your mind. Watch this. Most assuredly, I say to you, listen carefully. He who hears my word, but listen, but listen, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, but has passed from death to life. Listen carefully to the words of Jesus. This is how the modalists will read this verse. According to them, Jesus says, he who hears my word and believes in me has everlasting life. But that's not what Jesus said. Jesus says, again, he refers to his father. Jesus says, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me. That's why when he teaches us to pray, he says, when you pray, say our Jesus. Does he say that? When Jesus says, when you pray, say our son. Does he say dear word? Thank you, Carmen Cardona. Be blessed in Jesus name. Thank you for the 500 stars. Does Jesus say, does Jesus say, when you pray, say, dear Holy Spirit. He says, when you pray, pray to the Father. Our Father. Yes, he says, you cannot come to the Father except through him, through the Son. You can come through the Father to the Son. Here we go again. Sergi. Pearson says, Jesus is the father. You see that? Jesus is the father. Did you hear what he just said? So basically, Jesus is saying, on the throne, he's saying, come, you blessed of my father. That's actually me. <laughs> Are you seeing the law? This is what I'm explaining to you, church. 
This is what I'm explaining to you. Jesus came on this earth to explain to the world that there are three. That there are three. And the three are father, the three are son, and the three are spirit. And these three, they agree as one. They are one in nature, in the name, and in title. But they are three. That's what we need for a salvation essential. Are you all with me, church? Jesus is not the father. Jesus is not the father. Now watch this again. This is why I said in point number four. That part of our salvation essentials is understanding the triune God. Today, we're trying to do a deep dive into an understanding of the triune God. Let me show you one more thing. Are you all with me? I'm showing you one more thing. Watch me, church. Watch me carefully. Watch me. Listen carefully, please. Watch this carefully. Exactly, Tom. Tom, it's the family. The God family. Father, Son, Spirit. Watch carefully now. Watch, please listen carefully. And all of the Jesus only modalists who are in the comments, all I'm asking you to do, I'm not arguing with you. I'm asking you listen and listen to see if there's logic. Listen carefully. Listen carefully, church. In John chapter 5 and verse 16. John chapter 5 and verse 16. Listen carefully. For this reason, the Jews persecuted Jesus and sought to kill him. Listen. For this reason, the Jews persecuted Jesus and sought to kill him. Because he had done these things, he did a miracle on the Sabbath. But Jesus answered them, listen, my father, my father has been working until now and I have been working. He says, the both of us, father and son, have been working until now. Who are you to tell us when we should work and shouldn't work? We gave you a day of rest. Don't tell us when to rest. Watch me, please. Please watch me. This will blow your mind, please. Watch this. Verse 18. Are you here? Verse 18. Therefore, the Jews sought all the more to kill him. Listen, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also said that God was his father. When Jesus was conveying to the Jews and the verse says that God was his father, it's talking about whom the Jews regarded as God. The Jews regarded Jehovah as God, as their God. The Jews regarded, or even today, the Jews regard Jehovah as the only God, but the son Jesus was regarding Jehovah as his father. And to the Jews, that was blasphemy because they understood what he was trying to imply. The Jews understood what Jesus was saying. That Jesus was saying, listen, this father and this me, we both are God. Watch this church. Watch this please. Verse 18. Because he not only broke the Sabbath. 
but he also said that God was his father. Listen, listen, making himself equal with God, making himself equal with God. So this is what the oneness Pentecostals use. They say, listen, Jesus made himself equal with God. So they both are the same person. That's what they say. That's not what we say. What we say, they're the same being. They're part of the same being, but they're two separate persons. Father, son. Now wait, 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 wait. But Jesus answered them. Listen, sorry. Verse 18 and verse 19. Then Jesus answered and said to them, most assuredly, I say to you, the son the son cannot do anything of himself, but what he sees the father do for whatever he does, the son also does. Listen, the son can see the father. Who is the son looking at? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You just said the son is the father. You just said that Jesus is the father. What did Jesus just said? He said, the son sees the father. Who's Jesus looking? Is he looking at himself in a mirror? <laughs> Come on. When in the book of Genesis, when God says, let us make man in our image, in our likeness, was God creating another God? He was making humans separate from God with God likeness, but separate. So here the son clearly explains to us a separation. All you Jesus only modalists, please listen. This is the truth. And Jesus came to teach us. It's in John chapter 5, verse 16 to verse 18. He says, the son cannot do anything of himself, but he does what the father does. He says, the son sees what the father does. So he copies what the father does. If the father is working on something, the son watches him and the son does it. That's what he means when he says the son cannot do anything of himself. It do, he's not saying, look, I'm powerless. I'm useless. The father is the one who's got all the power. He's saying, no, I got the power. I'm exactly like him, but I do what he does. If he starts to work, I work. What is he talking about? He's saying, when the father loved the world, I started working and showed the love to the world by coming on this earth. That's what he means. He sees what the father does and he does it. God so loved the world that he sent his son. That's what the son was saying. He says the father loved the world. I showed it. Woo! The son can see the father. If you, if the, if the son himself says... That he can see the father. Why can't you? Come on church. Please church. Please. Now I want to show you one more thing. In John chapter 5 verse 18. The Jews sought all the more to kill him because he not only broke the Sabbath, listen, but he also said that God was his father, making himself equal to God. Now listen to me, please. I want to close with this for today. Listen to me, please, church, please listen to me. Making himself equal with God. Here, the narrator. Remember I said verbatim and narration? In John chapter 5 and verse 18, the narrator is showing us, narrating to us, 
the claim that Jesus made. Listen, please. Everybody with me? The claim that Jesus made was that he was equal, that he was equal with God. Are you with me? Watch this church. In John chapter 5 and verse 18, the narrator is narrating to us that Jesus was telling the people that he was equal with the Father. Watch this. Watch this. The word equal in Greek here is son. I'm saying it exactly how I heard Google saying it. Son. Son. If you write it, it is I-S-O-N. We will say Eson. But when you pronounce it in Greek, son. The I is like super short, like a son. This word, a son, a son, means as long as. The word equal here is a son. Meaning as long as. Now, the translators of the Bible, the translators, the English translators, they thought what Jesus was saying was Edo, E I D O, meaning similar. So they used the word equal in the English translation. They thought that the word Ison comes from. Edo. They, they said perhaps. If you go to Strong's reference, it'll say that. The Bible, tra the English Bible translators said, maybe he's saying similar to the Father. So, he is saying equal. The word Edo, meaning similar. But the word which was used was a song. The Greek word coming down directly from the Hebrew and Aramaic because Hebrew and Aramaic was the original language and the Greek absorbs. Greek is one of the ancient languages that is absorbed from the original language that it was spoken in. The Greek says son, which means as long as. As long as. I'm giving you an example. Watch this. Watch this. This, this pen is as long, watch this church, this pen is as long as these spectacles. That is the meaning of a song. Stay with me church, please. I'm closing with this. When the narrator tells us what Jesus told the people, Watch this, please. Everybody, ignore what's going on in the comments and listen to me, please. Please. For a moment, listen. This pen is as long as these spectacles. This is what Jesus was conveying. He was saying, that the son's existence, the son's existence has been as long, as far back, as old as the father himself. That's the meaning of a son. Jesus was declaring, he was like, listen, however old However, in the beginning, however far back you say the existence of the father is. I am as old. I am as long as my existence is as long, as old as the father himself. Not, he was not saying I am. 
am the father. He was saying, for as long as the father has been around, I've been around for that long a period of time. Woo! Come on. Son. That's why the Jews wanted to kill him. Because he was not saying that he was the father. He was not saying he was the father. He was saying, I've been around as long as the father's been around. <laughs> come on, church. Come on. Give him the glory. That's why the Jews wanted to kill him. Because he was telling them, son but he was still making a distinction son means object one as long as object two son means object one is as long as object two Object one is as long as object two. Wow. We're still doing our salvation essentials. And listen, listen to me, church. The more we hear, the more we learn, the more we'll be empowered. Did you hear what I said? The more we hear, the more we learn, the more we'll be empowered. We have, we're still completed six of the salvation essentials. <laughs> I don't know, Mrs. Isaac, these have been here with me. I have no clue why they're here. <laughs> They've been here for so long. I don't know. I have no clue, but I've never used them. Maybe, maybe I just uh, have them for remembrance of you. That's why. <laughs> Come on, church. Come on, we've completed six. And today we've taken a deep dive into number four, a little deeper dive and understanding of the triune God. Just a little more, a little deeper dive and understanding into the triune God. Now, church, let me, let me just, as we close, I want to just say this. I've seen a lot of people asked questions. Um, all those... Oh yeah, King Oh, she's got like a mil she's got like millions of glasses all over the house. Church, I want to say this. I've seen a lot of people posting questions and asking questions while I've been preaching. And you know, unfortunately, I can't go off topic. But you see my phone number that's here? Please send your questions to my WhatsApp. And then hopefully I'll do a little study and come back to you and teach about your question during one of the Bible studies. Okay, hopefully. But I usually cannot deviate off of the topic unless what you're saying, the Holy Spirit asked me to answer then and there. That's the only time I can do it. Okay. Um, if there's anyone who needs prayer, I'm going to pray for you right now. Okay. If there's anybody else who needs prayer, I'm going to pray for you right now. All those who need prayer, please agree with me. Father in heaven, I come before you, Lord. It's, uh, it's uh, one of the pinned comments. It's one of the pinned comments. You should be able to see it right there. Father in heaven, if he doesn't say, uh, see it, somebody please post my phone number for him right there. Father in heaven, right now we ask you, Lord, everybody, including Tina, all those who need prayer, all those who have come before you for a miracle, all those who have come to you to ask for healing upon their life, all those, Darlene, um, Jitu, all those who are asking, um, Gubarman, Nansel, Peter, uh, Saint Ivan Osaro, all those who are asking for prayer. Garf, who's asking for prayer. All these believers, all those who are asking for prayer this very moment. Lord, I ask you at this moment, please send down your power and touch your children. I pray for Ishika as well. All those who need a physical healing in their body right now. I ask you, God, that you will touch them. All those who need healing, including Tom, including Mariam, all those who need a physical healing, in their body, all those who need a spiritual healing upon them, including Pallavi, 
all those who need a physical healing in their bodies, all those who need a spiritual healing, including Aradna, including Jessica. I pray for all these believers who are asking for prayer right now. And Lord, I ask you, all those who are posting their names right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, including Brenda, in the mighty name of Jesus, I ask you, Lord, touch them this very moment, including Francis D'Souza and his family. I ask you, Lord, to touch them right now. Touch them with your miraculous power. I ask you for Sarika as well. I ask you for Alan as well. I ask you for Ashish as well. I ask you to touch them with your miraculous power. David, I think you missed an awesome teaching today, unless you were there. Um, I ask you, Lord, for your miraculous touch. I pray for uh, Saint Evang, or Evangelist Osaro and for his ministry. I ask you, God, that you will touch them, that you will heal them, that you will give them a mighty miracle. If Yusuf is asking for a miracle, I ask him for him as well. If Ishika is asking for healing upon the knee, I ask for him as well. For Jacob and for Okello, I ask you for your miraculous power. Touch them all. And in the mighty name of Jesus, release them to complete healing. Physical and spiritual healing. Release them to mighty healing right now. Them in their bodies. Mighty healing right now. In Jesus' mighty name. And all God's people said, Amen and Amen. I bless you all in Jesus' name. I love you all in Jesus' name. And I ask you all to please continue to attend these Bible studies, which are super, super, super important for all of us. Come back every day, same time, same place, and continue to empower yourself with knowledge from the Most High. God bless you all. Take care. I'll see you all tomorrow. I love you all in Jesus' name.